welcome you to the next episode of Leadership Academy Lead to Lead. And recently, we are reviewing a lot of things in the membership program, right? And one of the questions we are asking, and we are also received from the network, is about retention rate, how we can keep the commitment of the team uh, member and the whole team as well. And because of that, we are inviting one of our speakers from IIT to come here and talk with us about this topic today. So please welcome Azit, AIVB Program Innovation for LDM. Hi Azit. Hello. How are you everybody? I hope that you're doing great. Thank you Lee for the introduction and I think like it's a very very important topic um, especially to think about how our members today are being retained. Yeah, that's correct. So when we are talking about this topic, in your opinion, what is the mindset that the team leader need to start to shape in the mind right now when they think about commitment, returns and rate? Yeah, first of all, I think one of the most important things that we should keep in mind as team leaders is first being empathetic enough with uh, with our members and our team members because that's one of the first steps to interact with your members to be able to empathize and understand what are their fears, uh, what are their feelings towards the things and so on. The second thing is prevention of any kind of issue that might happen um, afterward uh, and what do I mean by prevention is also planning things ahead and making sure that people are on the same page regarding their job description regarding the management practices the deliverables that they need to um, that they need to have and also how um, are they going to be tracked and how are they going to be followed up mm -hmm. so prevention and at the same time um, having that space where they can engage is very very important when it comes to retaining our members. Mm, I can see that. So usually in the past, we have something like the pick of keep process. Yep. Uh, it's like in the pick, then you start to tell people to apply and keep people to stay in the yeah. organization. Right now, however, we are focusing on the new member experience and we are focusing on the, their experience in a different way. Yep. So which means that the keep need to happen in along of their experience. Uh, so I would like to know if there any experience in the past that you have like facing this kind of challenge and how did you actually make your team commit to the work? Yeah, I was actually led by uh, someone who managed this in, uh, in a very, very good way. Uh, Mr. Ayuwale oh, over there. Uh, yeah. when, when we were managed by, um, by our regional director back then, I was regional manager in Middle East South Africa. That was up for me. Yeah. 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 Um, at that moment, uh, we were uh, a very diverse team, like different backgrounds, different cultures, different nationalities. And the, um, the main problem or issue in regional manager job is traveling back then. Uh, I mean, traveling is super good, but at the same time, you need to, you need to be part of a team that you don't see each other that much. Yeah. I mean, we ended up seeing each other a lot by the end of the, yeah. by the, end of the term because it was the pandemic. But still in the beginning, we had to travel manage uh, entity visits, conferences, uh, plannings, uh, sharing plannings and replannings from different MC teams. So we were all around the region and that was somehow an issue or could have been an issue. So the engagement that we had back then was practically virtual and I would say hybrid more than that. Like there were also some practices that we had when we were all together. Uh, back in Tanzania, but still the virtual practices that we had were good enough. So what do I mean by virtual practices in this case? Is first that we agreed that this is the timeline that we're gonna follow when it comes to the touch points that we will have overall as a whole team together. So all the team meetings, all the even the happy hours we were like hanging out together, even in Zoom. I think like uh, now most of the people are doing this, yeah. but back then it was a weird thing like to just hang out over uh, in front of your laptop. But still, till now I think it's uh, still one of the things that uh, managed to make us connect with each other all the time and to remind each other on how good the experience could be and how good we can make the experience. Um, that's second, and that's what somehow kept us throughout the whole uh, term, which was one year and a half uh, because of the pandemic, so we stayed six more months. And the most interesting part is that we had very clear deliverables since planning, so we couldn't even get stuck at a certain point, even though that uh, in the beginning, the metrics that we were uh, followed up on uh, were exchange metrics because we were managing exchange, right? Yes. And then exchange stopped in the in the middle, and we just decided that 
those metrics should be reviewed. So in quarter reviews, in replannings, in monthly reviews, we have this routine of reviewing their metrics, uh, our metrics, and checking if those metrics still make sense or not. And according to that, we would move forward. Yeah, so virtual engagement and virtual activities, even outside of the management practices, management practices, which is also very important to keep the consistency and see each other a little bit more. And last but not least, um, the clarity on the metrics and the clarity on the follow-up on whatever we do and how much it's connected inside of the team with each other. Mm. So yeah, th I think yeah. that was one of the good experiences I had with this part of how to keep a member or how to keep an icicle throughout his, their own experience as committed since the beginning till the end. Mm, that's so very good and I think that is also the reason why we have a lot of uh, all from me yeah, is become AI in this year as well, right? Because <laughs> they are so. very committed and a lot of people want to apply higher role in our psychology AI team, which is very good. Um, so in your opinion, right? Right now, if the people, if the executive board and the team leader, when they start the planning, yeah. what is something that gonna be your advice for them when they think about how to keep my people, how to make my people commit and so on and so on? Yeah, uh, I think the first thing that we should keep in mind today um, with the context that we are having for sure is the hybrid practices, especially like the virtual practices that we need to have uh, in our EB teams, in the small department teams and so on, because it's not something that common in all the regions and all the countries that people would use uh, virtual engagement and so on. So we need to revise how our internal communication is being made, even on LC level, so we can keep people engaged till the end of, the, of their experience. The second is to have clear touch points mm. with every single team member that you have, because as a team leader, that's your responsibility to keep people inside of the organization, right? Yeah. To get the best out of them, for them to be able to deliver their mission. So keeping them inside of the inside of the organization requires a lot of consistency but also touch points that are clear for everybody this is where we're going to review your personal development plan this is where we're going to set your own goals this is when uh, we're going to review your uh, performance metrics so having like functional one to ones having personal one to ones having these kind of management practices can help you out on um, let's say um, make the burden a bit light mm -hmm. when it comes to your uh, duty as a team leader to keep your members. And last but not least, making the environment as um, not safe, but as, um, let's say, full of harmony where uh, the members can actually uh, engage and make sure that they are delivering the best out of Mm, I see. So which means that the whole way for us to keep the people in the organization or to have a good retention rate is it, actually need to be built based on different touch points from the beginning, from the first day that they are coming to the journey, in the middle and also in the closing part. And every part we need to have a very strict touch point to exactly. actually make it happen. Exactly. Yeah. Um, and also that is also something that very cool learning and also very good um, experience that you are coming here. Thank you yeah. for coming here to share with us. Um, I hope that all of the learning that I just, just said with you can be one of the good things that when you are start working on the planning, it could help you to plan a whole uh, better strategic plan for uh, retention rate and yep. keep people in the organization. Yes, yeah. especially starting from planning, that's the main important touch point because in planning, you have the conversation, you have to have the conversation of what I'm going to do and what my team members will be doing mm -hmm. and communicating this to everybody who's um, synergizing with these people or uh, have any other touch points with them because it's also very frustrating if me as a member, I wouldn't know what, what to do, what are my deliverables and also what are my, the key performance indicators um, that, uh, that my team leader will be tracking me on. So as I told you, like when exchange stopped, mm -hmm. that was like those two days where we didn't know what to yeah. track anymore, but that's totally fine. That's okay. And until you get to the point where you understand what's my end objective, out of the experience and what is my contribution, then it's all good and mm. things can be uh, much smoother and better. Yeah, I agree. I totally agree. And especially right now when we're talking like what we need to focus on one member is not about only their productivity, but yeah. their experience overall. 
then this kind of like mindset is more important than ever and this can we can actually start little with our how we planning exactly. uh, little little and then we can make actually make it a bigger impact in the future as well for the retention rate of the whole organization and very good uh, very nice thank you for your learning uh, and thank you for coming today thank you. Thank you. Uh, <laughs> yes and we're gonna also see Aziz more in the upcoming space as well so hope to see you soon Aziz <laughs> and see you soon bye bye see you bye bye, bye. bye.